Today, we're gonna to be flying as many planes as possible in one day. Guys, we are on plane number one, a Cessna 152S model, correct? It's just a 152. Just a 152. Just a 152. The basic, <laughs> basic girl. This is Ryan. He is a friend of mine. We met because you actually came into the office. Yeah. Because he needed his wisdom teeth out. And yep. now, uh, look you know, at come, come look to look where we are. Look where we are. We're flying airplanes <laughs> together. You actually took me up. You were probably one of my first fixed wing lessons yeah. I ever took. Yeah, and it was two days before we I got my wisdom teeth out. Was it? Yeah. It's going to be a fun one. A little windy, but it should be a good time. Yeah, past your, it's past a, your skill. It's a little breezy, and we're flying out of Venice, Florida. We're going to do uh, go up and do one lap in the pattern, land it, and jump in the next one. It's a lot. Just to bleed off a little bit of airspeed, get back down to seven. Oh, butter. Butter my popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it butter, but we'll give her a C plus. A I'll, minus? I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B. How about we just go? We'll go B even. We'll go B even. I'll take a B even. All right, guys, that's the <laughs> one lap down in the first airplane. Let's keep it going. Nine more to go. Nine more to go. Not for your boy. A little close to the knees on the dash, but we got our first flight done for the day. Let's get to the next one. Next up, we're going to the classic Cessna 172. So let's get this thing, uh, get our pre-flight done and go do a lap. And All right, guys, we are on plate number two. We are in a Cessna 172 with a glass panel. Gotta love it. Let's go up and hit a lap with this thing and uh, have some fun. Venice traffic, Cessna 921 Alpha Alpha taking off runway 31, Venice. 50. Five. Zero two. She climbs a little faster than the 152, <laughs> I must say. A little bit nicer, too. I gotta be better about touching the rear wheels first. I give that one a, a B minus. Oh, worse than the last one, man. That was a three pointer. I know, I know. <laughs> I really gotta be better about that. We have a nice short commute. We're just going to 964 Alpha Alpha now. So we flew a 172 Mike model, and now we're flying a 172 November model. Yeah, so I went up for one of my first fixed wing lessons ever with Ryan. There's Two days. Actually, yeah, there's a little video on it. It's like one of your like original videos. There's like a small clip of like 30 seconds of you and I. Of you and I in the back really? of one of your videos. No way. If someone can find it and post in the comments, that'd, that'd be, be really impressive. But that there's a, there's like a 30 second clip at one of the end of his videos. It was like. What is it, 2021? No, 2020? I mean, I could look it up on your charts and then go backwards yeah. from there. <laughs> I mean, someone will find someone it. Someone will find so it. I believe in them. Make sure the trim is set, all our lights are on. We are good to take green, off. Green, green, green. Ready to fly. A little bit of rain. A little drizzle. I think I might have to give you my first A of the day. Ooh, I'll take oh, it, I'll ooh. take it. That was butter. That was butter. Let's see the helicopter. Sounds turbulent. Airplane number four, we are in the Cessna Skyhawk. 172 Sierra. Oh yeah, brother. Full glass, G1000. <laughs> Good. We got the wind switching up on us. We're gonna switch runways from 3-1 to 5. Oh yeah, brother. We are taxiing over there right now. Everything is in the green air, speeds live two places. And there's 50 55. Uh, rotate. Landing number four of the day. Venice traffic 32769. Cross my boy. Three Chad, one. There he is. Hey Chad, have a good flight. You as well, Dr. Parker. <laughs> All right, guys, done with flight number four for here. I think we're doing a 177 later. Oh, that'd be 
Oh. Might be after the, might be playing number six, so. My buddy Chad, who you guys saw in yesterday's video, just went up in the Piper. We're gonna be flying in a little bit, so. Hope he has a good flight. Let's get this thing put away and get on to the next one. Papa's here today to support us. As you guys have seen him in Garrett's videos, he was a big aviator and we're flying the Technum, which is basically a Cessna 172 with a facelift, right, Ryan? Pretty much. Yeah, so thanks for coming out to support today. That's all right, I love you. Love you too, love you too. <laughs> all right, you ready, Ryan? I'm ready. Okay, let's do thanks, it. Thanks, guys. Ryan and I are in plane number five for today. We are in a Technom, which is essentially the Italian version of a Cessna, right? <laughs> it is very the, Italian. Very Italian. And that guy actually took off a 1-3 with the tailwind. Well, I, I've never flown one of these, Ryan. No, he did not. Yeah, he just took off a 1-3 with the tailwind. Unbelievable. <laughs> be careful out there, aviators. you got to be careful out there. 40. 50. Looks like it wants to go fly a little bit early, so yep. we'll just ride that ground effect. Yep, 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 yep. Sweet. You're good. You're looking real nice. This is the exact sight picture you want to see, even though it's a little bit strange. Really? Yes. This is the exact sight picture you want to see. Wow. It is dropping like a brick. See, it's coming right down perfectly. Oh, yeah. And you're right at 78, which is very nice. This thing's loud. Yeah, help. All right, moving on to plane number six for today. We have the Piper Warrior Two. This is the airplane that I learned how to, or I got my license to fly in. So I'm very familiar with these aircrafts and have a lot of time in them. Oh, this is so weird being at a low, a I low know, wing plane. It's so different, isn't what it? What the heck? All right, currently we have been flying for going on three hours now, yeah. entering plane number six, a Piper Warrior. Two. That is Piper left down one five Venice. You get it, Lucas? What do you grade that one? Ryan? I give it. Uh, I think that was pretty good. I, I like that one. And some wheel hop. Some wheel bouncing. We're gonna bring it over the top. All right, everyone. We are alive in plane number seven today. A Piper Cherokee Warrior that I actually got my airplane single engine land ticket in. This is Shane. He was my flight instructor that helped me through everything. We've spent a lot of time together in this airplane. So we're gonna get it taxied over to runway 31. We've been hopping between 31 and 5 today. And we're gonna get this thing airborne. So let's cut to it. 2769 are taking off 31, Venice. We're flying. Venice, Piper, short final, 31, Venice, full stop. Shane, what do you rate it? 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. That's Two a times. C minus. Why, because I floated for so long past a thousand foot markers, or what? Uh, it's good. 7 out of 10 is good. Now we are flying the Ranger. This is actually Shane's favorite airplane that he owns. Is that correct, Shane? That is correct. Yeah, he loves this thing. It's a great trainer. It's light. It doesn't burn much fuel. So we're going to go up and rip this thing. All right, back in another airplane. Plane number 8. 8 Victor Romeo and the Ranger. Getting ready to take off here on runway five. Do a lap, set her down, move on to your probably your second favorite plane that you right? Probably. Aztec, which is a multi engine plane. And you're gonna be with me since you have your multi engine instructor and I will be student, so you will be B I C. That's right. Cool. And don't mind that shake. Did the wheels stop it? That's the nose wheels stop it. This thing climbs really well. It does everything really well. <laughs> Good patience. Venice traffic five. Little bit of that rudder, little bit of that rudder. Runway five. Venice traffic. And I was almost like a butterfly with sore feet. <laughs> almost. Seven out of ten. I'll give you an eight out of ten. Hey, we're getting better. We're getting better. Woo! Am I getting tired yet? <clears throat> Honestly, man, I love today because it's so much great exposure to different aircrafts. You know. Great experience. Inboard. Inboard. Inboards are selected. Inboards are correct. Okay. Parking brake is off. Confirmed. Off. Venice traffic. Aztec 6355 Yankee taking off runway 5. Venice. Oh, she's got power. Gobs of it. Power, pressure, and speed. All validated. Don't rotate early. 
basically think about unsticking. All right, there we are up. Hit the brakes for me. Brakes. All right, let go brakes. Brakes are off. Gears in transit. Yep. Good, slow, slow, slow. Good, leave it. And then just remember, pick that nose up a little bit. Pick up a little bit more. There you go. How about right here? Woo! The one way to cap it off. <laughs> Easy. Like I said, it's a lot of airplane. <laughs> that is a lot of airplane, man. But hey, you got to do it for the first time across it off the list, right? That's right. All right, guys, we're going up for our last flight, flight number 10 in the Cardinal. Thanks to Greg. He's helping us out today to make this happen. So thankful. Let's go rip this thing. You ready, Ryan? Let's get it. All right. Number 10. Number 10. All right, you ready to rip? Yes, sir. Hey, positive rate, no available runway left. Gear up. Yep. Uh, All right, right there. Yep. Keep a hint of power in, she'll just come right down. Not, not clean. <laughs> hey, we found the earth. Brian, what do you grade it? He's been grading all my landings today. Ah, okay. Just lay it on me, brother. You gotta lay it on me. I give that one a C. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That one's I, a C. Yeah, I wouldn't even give it that. Well, guys, that wraps it up. Thank you for coming along and making a really special day that I will always remember. This will be the day that I can say I flew 10 airplanes in one day. Something I will remember for the rest of my life and continue to tell other aviators. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty, get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.